Marvel. Feige, you losing me, Feige. You losing me, brother. What the fuck is this? Here come the MCU box. Ooh, you're just trying to hate on Marvel, huh? It's fun to hate on Marvel now. You're jumping on the Marvel hate train. No, this episode sucks. There was a time where almost anything Marvel put out was good. Undeniably good. Now they put out mo mediocre garbage. At best. Subpar. Best shit we ever gonna get in a long time. For a long time is Guardians 3. I don't want to hate Marvel. I don't want to dislike Marvel. I grew up watching Marvel. I'm a big Spider-Man fan. I love the first Avengers film. I love the first Iron Man film. I like the first Thor film. A lot of people don't like the... I like the first Thor film. I adored the Avengers when it came out. I watched it Lord knows, how many Lord knows how many times. I do not want to be a Marvel hater. It's that Marvel puts out shit content most of the time. If you want a channel that goes and defends Marvel and says everything that they put out is the greatest thing ever, go. Dislike and leave. Because I'm hurt. Marvel used to be the pinnacle of entertainment, the cream of the crop. Now, whenever we see anything Marvel, we expect the worst or we expect something mediocre. Like, the MCU sucks now, bro. This episode was terrible. It was bad. Nothing happened in it into the last five or so minutes. I was bored. I was on my phone for most of the episode. I did not pay attention. Of course, there's going to be some dumb idiot in the comments. Oh, it's me because this show is too advanced for you. Your attention span. You just can't pay attention. No. Sit around. Sit down and talk. Get up. Walk around. Sit down and talk. That's most of this episode. Last episode was at least intriguing, dealing with the fallout of Maria Hill. This episode was a waste of time. Just watch the last five minutes and you'll be good. Hold on. I'm doing something more important, which is playing Dokkan to level up my new unit. So, episode begins with these guys infiltrating the Navy or whatever because they're going to try to force them to launch a nuke. Gravik's big plan is for, like, the U.S. to launch a nuke or whatever... He, he just wants to start World War III. That's what he really wants to start, right? Gravik's master plan. I liked Gravik. I did. He was a villain whose motivations made sense. He has to do some bad for some good to... to he had to do some bad to cause some good for his people. I thought his plan was to infiltrate the government, which he has using scrolls, having humans fight each other, causing terrorist attacks, causing the US and Europe to go to war. And during all of that, he can use the scrolls to infiltrate top secret organizations, governments to where the scrolls can take over Change some laws around so that the scroll people can finally reveal themselves on planet Earth and be protected. That's what I thought. That you have to cause a little violence to spread a message. The scrolls are here. We're coming. And we're not going to give up without a fight. You better accept us or else. We're not going to wipe you out. We're just here because we want a planet to live on. Because Fury failed. Fury failed to help us find a planet. We'll take his by force. Whether he likes it or not. And he's going to live in my world. My earth. Because I'm going to rule it all. I'm going to run it all. To spite Fury. I'm going to be his king. His boss. Nope. That's not his plan. <laughs> that's what I thought his plan was. Doesn't that make sense? I could fuck with that plan. I don't like what he's doing. He's killing innocents. But hey, he has to do what he has to do. Nope. His plan is to become a super scroll. Um, every like he wants to become a super scroll. He wants his scroll companions, the 
higher ups, because he's the scroll general, to become super scrolls. And he wants to wipe out humanity. All because Fury did not help him find a new world. He is going to wipe out humanity. Why are we going to the extreme for? I literally just explained a perfect reason as to why he's doing what he's doing and what his end goal should be. Not genocide. This nigga watched Attack on Titan and was like, you know what? That nigga Aaron Yeager is spitting. It isn't Yeager. That nigga, he on to something. Hold on. Let's go to the episode. They ruined Gravic. They they fucked him up. They <laughs> the only the only thing I actually liked in this show, and they already just shat all over him. And now I'm like, okay, well fuck this dude. Shitty credits start at the credits. The horrible, terrible opening. Please never use AI for your opening again, Marvel. Please. I understand you're hurting for money lately, because no one's really watching your shit anymore. But still. Episode opens up with Nick Fury meeting his future wife. So we know that he knows she's a scroll. I don't care, but Jesus, that this is black excellence. I'm sorry. She is beautiful. She's probably old enough to be my auntie, so I'm gonna watch what I say. But this black woman is gorgeous. I can see why Fury uh was folding. You know it's a scroll and she took someone else's body. We cut to Fury making breakfast. They start talking. Um, he's like, hey, if you're pissed, I haven't been around, just say so. And she's like, well, you left me, nigga. You died during the blip. I mourned for you. You came back and you ran away. You left me. Like, what, you think I'm going to be happy that you appeared out of nowhere? Understandable. And then she gets a call from Gravik. <laughs> so she's working with Gravik. And then she tells Gravik, hey, uh, I'm busy right now or something to protect Fury. So she's good. She's not evil, but she's good. She won't sell out her husband. You getting that green pussy. They wake her up. So, Gravik has a lot of sped moments in this episode. This is one of them. Gravik is, seems to be the type of villain that's able to point and sniff out bullshit. He knows when people are lying. As seen in the last episode. Oi, mate, did you fucking snitch the enemy, yeah? No. No, fam. I, I didn't. I didn't tell him anything. Oh, uh, Okay. All right, kill him with me. Killed him. He knew he did. So he said, hey, Fury got some intel that only me, you, and two other niggas know. That, no, no. So one of the niggas is dead, and he's somehow still getting intel. Other homie ain't going to betray me. So are you the traitor, bitch? And she's like, I didn't betray you. And he's like, uh, bitch, I know you did it. I'm about to kill you. He's like, I would never betray you, Gravik. And she stares at him. And Gravik folds and leaves. Like, what? No, Gravik, kill her. I understand it's Amelia Clark. And she is one of the most beautiful women on the planet. I understand her eyes look like goddamn diamonds. But holy shit, Gravik is an idiot. He knows he, she, he knows she did it. Literally, she just gives him that look. Now listen, if Amelia Clark looks at me like this, I'll do her the fuck she wants. Baby, I'm yours to command. Your mind to command, actually. Get the fuck out of here. You're not tricking me with those beautiful moon crescent eyes. Oh my god, her eyes are fucking beautiful. So he folds, simps, runs away. He brings her along because her dad wants to parlay. Wants to have a peace agreement. And then she overhears on what the ne that nigga doing. And then she snitches to her dad. So Gravik and Dude start talking. Gavik's like, I'm going to win this war with blood, not peace, or whatever. I don't care. So they start talking, and he mentions his daughter, saying, hey, your daughter with me, nigga, how you feel? So um, Talos gets mad, puts his hands on him, and it's revealed. Now, I want you to, I, I want you to, <laughs> I want you to remember this. Pay attention. Everyone there shapeshifts into Gravik, showing that his scrawl goons are right there. Warning him. Put your hands on me one more time, nigga. There's going to be issues. You ain't walking out of here alive. So we we have, we have established that if he puts his hands on Gravik again, he's fucked, right? They keep talking. 
Gravik mentions his daughter again, which of course pisses him off. And he says that he is going to tell the people of Earth about his plans, about who the scrolls are. Gravik's like, bet. They're still not gonna be, they're not gonna believe you because you're a scroll too. And they're gonna try and kill you. He mentions his daughter again. He stabs his hand with a knife. He goes up to choke him. The scroll goons do nothing. They just stand there like idiots. They do not attack him at all whatsoever. Gravik is a man of action. The Gravik I thought I knew would immediately have them beat his ass and then he will capture him and torture the hell out of him. Only reason why he won't kill him is because of his daughter. Because it seems like he has a soft spot for Gaia. So he lets him stab him and choke him and walk away. And he does nothing. He like a little bitch. Instead of immediately whooping his ass, he regens his arm. All of his goons are standing there like, damn, nigga, you got punk. He chases after him, seemingly want to run the fade, and then he runs into the little, to his daughter. Wow. <laughs> Gravik is a fucking idiot. The Gravik from last episode would immediately beat his ass. This episode, like, they're there for a peace treat, a peace talk. He's the one that is willing to put his hands on him. Nigga, I don't give a fuck if I mention your daughter. We're here for a peace talk. Put your hands on me one more time. It's over with. This peace talk is over with. I'm leaving with your head in my hands, and I'm going to throw it to your daughter. Nope. So Fury talks to Talos, says that it, he, he Rhodey is a scroll. Rhodey is a scroll. It's obvious. He tells him that there is someone in the military that's a scroll. He's a high rank. He says, "I'm not helping you. You gotta beg me." And then Fury, you know, Fury would never do this. Tells Talos, "Please help me. I need you." The real Fury be like, man, shut the hell up and come with me. Let's go save the world. Shut your ass up and walk out. And then Talos will follow him. But nope, this isn't the Fury we know. So they start to investigate and they realize they have to track down um, someone, like a military official that is actually a scroll. I don't care what his name is. They call him Bob. They have a dumb argument. Fury says that he's going to be cleaning up Talos' mess. Talos says that without me... You wouldn't be Nick Fury. Pretty much saying that everything Fury has done, all the badass shit he has done, would be for nothing if it wasn't for Talos. So Talos is pretty much the reason why he is Nick Fury. What is that? Fuck is that? Let me fix that on my webcam. Ah, fuck it. I'll fix it later. So the badass shield Fury that we, we once do? Yeah. Nothing without Talos. Dumbass retcon. Because, like, the scrolls were his spies or whatever. Dumb, stupid argument before they break into the house. I don't care. I was bored out my mind. But yeah, people really compare this to the Winter Soldier. If you compare this to the Winter Soldier, <laughs> you have brain damage. <laughs> you have brain damage. This shit is nothing like Winter Soldier. Get the fuck out of here. Infiltrate the compound. Yada, 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 with a womb. I want this review to end. They confront Bob. I'm calling him Kevin because he looks like a Kevin. Fury captures his son. Talos. He's useless for some reason. He's very fucking useless. He gets captured. So they do a little parlay. Here's your son. Put, put, get my friend back. What a womb. So they're trying to get the, um, nuke, the uh, missile code from the dad. So he can call off the, scr the strike. So that they could prevent World War III. Fury... They're trying to convince him. He keeps talking shit, so it feels like, fuck this shit. He starts to torture him. Talos is like, bro, we can't do that. He was like, uh, nigga, we're, we're trying to prevent World War III. You have any other ideas besides physical torture? Because talking to him obviously isn't working. Let's threaten his son. Huh? Let's, we're trying to prevent the deaths of billions. So, he mentions Talos' daughter. Talos, the peacekeeper, kills him. 
Like a dumb fuck. Safiri is like, uh, retard, we needed him alive. How are you going to get the code now? Talos not only killed this dude for no reason, even though he could have tortured him for the code or threatened his son, he also got his daughter killed because he got he was too impulsive. He told his daughter, go investigate and find out the code. She takes some dudes out. And then the three scrolls are trying to convince the dude to launch the damn missile. She finds out the code by investigating the homie's memories. Gives it to her. Calls off the strike. They is saved. Yay, whatever. Dumbass episode. Gravic. I guess Gravic uh, decided to read the script again. Caught Amelia Clark. Hey, why'd you betray me? And she starts saying some... This was funny. She started talking. He says, hey, turn around so I can take you out. She said, no, you're going to look at me. You're nothing. You're a squirrel leader. You got to remember what we once were. You're nothing but a bitch ass in your shooter. <laughs> he just, like, he immediately kills her. <laughs> I don't like Gaia, so I'm happy. Cool. Fuck her. I don't like her anyway. Bye. See you later. Rip. Press F to not pay respects. So guy is dead, thank God. Finally, takes out the trash. She should have been did this earlier in the episode. Fury's wife goes to an airport. She's obviously being followed. She grabs a gun. Gravik wants to meet her in the episode's over. Trash, 2 out of 10. Only good thing in this episode was I like the banter between Fury and Talos. It's all right. Gravik it just got dumbed down this episode. They're trying to do Super Scrolls. This should have been an Avengers film. It's so obvious Rhodey's a scroll. This is the worst episode by far. Episode 1 was bad, but it was boring, but it wasn't bad. Episode 2 was actually pretty good. Episode 3 sucks. This is obviously the middle episode where they're wasting time. They're wasting time. And obviously, Amelia Clark isn't dead. They're not going to hire a big-name actress like that to kill her off in the middle of the show that's not happening two two three you lost it mark you lost me bro episode sucks it was boring for the most part again some mcu fanboy is gonna try to show this shit and tell me how much of a hater i'm a blind yeah yeah whatever go fuck yourself i might ban you just because just to keep the stupidity out of my comment section this shit's terrible if you liked it i'm happy for you don't write paragraphs in my comments telling me how I don't understand the peak, deep fucking writing that this episode has. Jesus fucking Christ. Like, subscribe, favorite. Check the channel link in the description. Twitch link in the description. And pin comment. I'll see y'all later. Stay blessed.